Listen to a part of a lecture in an American history class. The professor is talking about the lost colony of Roanoke. Some of you may have heard of the lost colony, the first English settlement on the North American continent, established in 1585 on Roanoke Island in what is now North Carolina. The original settlers found the island swampy and inhospitable, and relations with the nearby Native Americans soon deteriorated. In June 1586, the original colonists, fearful and hungry, returned to England on some ships that were passing their settlement. Then, just three weeks later, ships sent from England and loaded with supplies arrived. Upon finding the colonists gone, the captain left 15 men to hold the fort and left again for England. A second group of colonists arrived in 1587, only to find that the holding force had been killed. The leader of this new group, aware that his settlers needed assistance and more supplies, sailed again to England. But his return voyage was delayed due to war between England and Spain. When relief vessels finally got back to Roanoke in 1590, The crew members found that the fort had been abandoned. Not a trace of the more than 100 pioneers was left. Only one clue to their whereabouts was found. At the site of the fort, the enigmatic word Croatoan, the Native American name for a nearby island, had been scratched on one of the entrance posts of the fort. Elsewhere on the island, The search party found the first three letters of this same word carved on a tree. Perhaps the carver had been interrupted and hadn't had time to finish writing. There has been much speculation about this enigmatic episode in early American history. It is generally believed that the unlucky colonists either starved or were killed. Some scholars claim that there were survivors. And that they were adopted by the Native Americans, since the descendants of the indigenous people from this area still claim these colonists as their ancestors. But whatever the fate of the lost colony, the story will always fascinate students of history. What is the lecture mainly about? According to the professor. What did the people on the relief vessels find in Roanoke? Which of the following may explain what happened to the Roanoke settlers? What happened to each of the three groups of people left at Roanoke? Why does the professor refer to Roanoke as an enigmatic episode in early American history?